no so this is the basic format how to work with the linear linearly with option so second is this now we are going to work with the translational repeat so first of all translational repeat so just come over here this one is beam cursor beam selection cursor so just select all the beam over here and then we have option translational repeat so after taking this one what happens in which direction you want to proceed like i want to go upward then we have y option over here so in a y number of step i want like i want to design a five story or four stories like four stories i want over here the first of all i need a plinth level so i just i'm just going to change the level over here like at 1 meter or 0.5 meter first species it's a plinth level okay okay after this we have first story so what is the spacing uh, typical height of a story is uh, 3 meters or 3.5 meter whatever you need over here. so this one is going to change like this so here i'm going to again change this one it's 0.5 Okay, so here we have option like link step. So just link step. Basically, link step means it's just going to link each joint of your structure, which one you selected right now. Okay. So just okay, and here you got the main frame. After getting the frame, you just need to delete the below one. The reason is that we are just going to provide the supports at bottom. Okay, so I'm just deleted the selected one. Click on it. Just delete. Okay. Okay, so because uh, after you getting the story levels, each story level. Okay, from the delete. Yeah, just to delete. Yeah, just deleting the base one. Yeah, yeah. I'm just deleted the base one. One second. I just show you how. This one is base. And for your translation, repeat here in y word direction. Here is number of step is four. Okay. Here the typical height is three point five. And I am going to change the base one. It's a plinth level. Going to link step and okay. One second. Before this one, we need to need to select the model. Again, translation repeat. Whatever. Three point five. Number of step is four. And here, I'm just going to change it. Link step. Okay. So this one is selected now. Right now, okay. So I'm just going to delete option and okay. So this one is for deleted. So for this, I'm just going to turn off the grid, and here we got the one. So what we need over here, first of all, I just need to provide a support over here. For this, here we have a general option. So just come over here in a journal. Here we have kind of supports. Just so click, click on support. Here we have different kinds of support right now. So I'm just going to create a one. So first of all, we have a fixed option over here. So I'm just in a building structures kind of. You just need a fixed kind of structure uh, support. So I'm just adding it. So after clicking on this one, I'm just going to take a front view. These all are the views option in Stat Pro. So this one is front view. So I'm just going to select. So after taking the default support, which one you want to provide, automatically the cursor or is node cursor. So you just need to take a front view and select all the cursors which one is at bottom. So here we have isometric view. So I'm just going to assign a support at selected nodes. So here the nodes are supported. So this is the basic way how to provide a supports and translational repeat. So what is another thing? Another thing is basically how can we work. The circular grid or irregular. Grid. So I'm just going to show you. So first of all, circular grid. Right now. So let me finish the all kinds of grid today, and you just make the different kinds of plan or section elevation. Okay. So I'm just going to select them all and delete. So next one is. Circular grid. Here with the here we have edit option. Okay, so I'm just going to create a new grid. With the new grid, here we have another option like radial. Irregular. Radial means circular or polar or irregular. You know about this. So first of all, radial grid. So in a radial grid, what we have? 
So first of all, you just need to take a radial, and then you just name it over here. I'm just going to name it one, two, three, anything. Anyway, so right now I'm just going to take it one, two, three, anything. Okay, so after keep it okay. Here we got the new circular grid over here. So when you uh, click over here, it's the default grid in which you are working right now. So it's a radial grid. So in which section we are right now? We are in X, Y, or in a elevation section. So I just want to come in a plan section view. So after clicking over here, you got the plan section. So sim similar thing like rectangular and or a regular grid. So what is next in this one? First of all, is a start angle. Start angle is basically the angle from which, from where you want to start your building. Okay. So like just I'm just your grid. So I just want to start it from angle 30. Okay, so here you got this. Here the differences will come. And uh, another is uh, another thing is the radius. Radius of minimum one here. I want to start this one from five. Five meters. So here you got this. It's five meters. And the outer radius. Outer radius is how much? This one is 120. I want outer radius of 25 meters. Okay, so what we get over there here in this way. Okay, so starting is 30 angle means your grid gets starts from angle 30 like this. Your building is get started like this from 30 angle. Okay, starting angle is 30. Another thing is so starting angle is 30. Well, just imagine uh, if uh, yeah, yeah. just imagine one second. Just imagine if this one is my grid by default, circular grid. Okay. So when I make the grid first of all, this is by default view of your grid. Huh? Which one we get after selecting the radial grid? So this one is your at angle zero degrees. So right now when I provided start angle thirty, so what happens? This grid is get moved a little bit this one is get transferred up to 30 angle. so now the starting of your grid is from 30 angle. not is going to show you 30 points it's just going to show you the starting angle is just get drifted a little bit up to 30 okay so this is a starting so, so it's, i'm just going to take it as zero and 360 means up to you want to take it like just i want to take up to a 180 or 270 whatever so it's just going to take like this so this is the basic way clockwise yeah yeah anti-clockwise you just go yeah 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 minus 180 if you want then you go that one okay so here what is the base so first base are basically just going to show you the number of kinds of things these are like this you can see these all lines get increased this one is helpful when you are going to design a water tank to give it a smoothness okay so number of steps you are going to take is just going to smooth the structure but what is the error, uh, uh, disadvantage of this one is that in a style tool it's difficult to design a smaller kind of sections okay so we are just going to take a little bit bigger sections which one gets smoother while we are going to finish that with the concrete but in a reality the sections are not so smooth in stack okay so here we have a, if you want to increase that one you can increase it so it uh, gets circular little bit and if you want to decrease it this one the minimum value of this base is 3 it's not going down to 3 okay so next one is this one these base this, their minimum value is also 3 we are not going bottom with this one so here the smoothness are less so the way you just increase this one you got more smoothness in between so this is all about your radial grid ok so this one and after this what we required over here the next thing is
see an irregular kind you just going to again create in a grid section and again going to select a irregular i'm just going to name it like two three four or two three five anything and just click ok over here here you got the new one so after just clicking over here we just got a origin ordinate uh -huh, origin point after this the kind of structure you have like if i want to draw this one you know over here in irregular kind of way then just going to edit here we have xz option i'm just going to click xz here we have two kinds of axes are available to put the values right down over here so which kind x or z so right now i'm in plan section so first of all so x values here you can see 4 4 4 so i'm just going to put down a 4 space 4 space 4 again at bottom at z 3 3 space 3 space 3 after clicking ok you got your grid over so it's lit quite simpler than the another one if you have the coordinates or length of your individual one in particular direction like in x board or z board then it's quite easy to work with this one ok similarly you can work with the elevations also so this one is all about so let me talk about again a simpler because uh, uh, I didn't tell yet about the elevations. So here I'm just going to show you about elevation. So just click over here, here and add it. You got the XY. So this one is your elevation. So whenever you want to work with elevation, right now you can see over here we have elevation view. So I'm just going to start this one. Here you just can see 444 4, 4 and 333, the typical height. So first of all, how much I need over here? at a 4 like just over here the height is typical height 4 I'm just coming over here then here 3 1 second control Z control Z again snap node B and again starting from this point up to 6 and then in 4 here you got the height okay and again up to 8 here you got the bottom one, here you got the 12, here the 3, here the 1, okay, simple. So in this way you can draw this easily, you can again just go over here, draw a section beam over here, add beam option with the help of, and then again I'm just going to add these all. okay. So we just need to delete these all. Beams we not didn't require any kind of beam over here because we just going to provide a support right now. So this is all. So I'm just going to select them. Here we need one another beam. So just click add beam option. Here you go. Okay. So just escape it. Select them all at once. And here we have again geometry options and intersect two points. Here we have intersect. And at all done zero. Here you got the new beams with the joints so after getting a point cursor you can just see the node all nodes which will present right now so okay so basically if you want the whole structure then again select them all with the help of beam cursor i'm just going to select them all like this okay and uh, similarly i'm just going to give it a translational repeat in which direction here you can see the cursor here we have coordinate z towards us so I'm just going to take a Z over here. So you can just put down a number of steps and just one three. So here the default spacing in between them is right now is four. So link step. So okay. There you got the structure. Okay. Yes. You can also apply your open basis also. One second. I'll just show you. Again translation repeat. Again in Z one number of step is three. Spacing is four. You have to link step here you have open base option because they just joined the bottoms also they provide a beam at bottom so i'm just going to open base and then click ok over here now you can see here we don't have any kind of beam button so this is basically a way how to work with a stat pro with a stat pro in different kinds of grids okay so this is all about grids